حضور این سوال آل عمران فرس سیستی عبد الله مشهد آم مشهد سوال آل عمران فرس سیستی عبد الله مشهد آم مشهد این مسئله عیسی عند الله کمسل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون سيكون كان يكسبون the likeness of the two prophets إن شاء الله read it first in English yes now in Arabic and then translate it into English and then I'll I'll turn to that you have also to to translate him into Arabic haven't you you just ask the question of course Okay, this is verse number 60 from Surah Al-Imran. It says, Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Inna masal Aisa indallahi ka masal Adam khalakahu min turabin summa qala lahu kun fayakun alhaqqo min rabbika fala takum min al-mumtareen. The translation is, Surely the case of Jesus with Allah is like the case of Adam. He created him out of dust. Then he said to him, Be, and he was. This is the truth from thy Lord, so be thou not of those who doubt. <coughs> this verse is misunderstood by many people to indicate that uh, because Jesus was without a father, so his example is like that of Adam who was without a father and a mother. So it was unnatural birth of Adam, which is applicable to the unnatural birth of Jesus. While the Holy Quran does not refer to any unnatural birth at all, the Holy Quran draws our attention to the beginning of life on earth. It says that life began with dust. And all scientists bear witness to this that before the life began on earth, there was no life on earth. So if God can create life out of nothing, how can He create life by, by a single partner? Now when you study the history of evolution, you come to realize that after the dust, the first state which came into being was a single parent system of uh, reproduction. And two parents were introduced much later. So in that short reference, the Holy Quran resolves the entire problem. That don't you think that Adam was born, born like Jesus, suddenly out of nothing, without a father, without a mother? But he was born through a very long process where life started with uh, just dust. So that proves that God is an all-powerful creator. That's all what is referred to. Now some people, some Muslim ulama scholars, particularly I think from Indo-subcontinent origin, but also perhaps in Arabia, infer from this that this shows that if Adam was like uh, Jesus, impossible things can happen about both. See? So, what is wrong with God lifting him to the seventh heaven? So, he was a miraculous thing, and the same God could lift him to the heaven. Because he is like Adam. So I draw their attention to the fact that exactly the opposite is proved. If Jesus was like Adam, the ulama believe that Adam was thrown from heaven to earth, not lifted from earth to heaven. So he should have been sent down somewhere, not lifted up. Otherwise his muscle is not like Adam. So this verse, if it proves anything, it proves this. Don't you ever think that Jesus will be lifted bodily to heaven? He's like Adam. And I was, Adam was thrown down from the heaven down to earth. How could God lift him by, if he's similar to Adam? So this verse will not serve the purpose of the ulema at all. 
It can only serve the purpose of those who try to understand the Qur'an in the light of Allah's wisdom. And once you understand then this, these verses create a beautiful image of uh, the realities of life. These verses don't lift you to the myth, to imaginary things. They bring you down to earth and make you understand things as God created them, not like you imagine. Right? Well, Just a minute, one point I want to emphasize yeah. is why I'm saying this. Mm -hmm. This is a tribute to the greatness of the Quran that it does not say Adam was created without a father or a mother. Because Adam was created out of a father and a mother. So the Holy Quran takes you all the way back to the beginning of life. And in that beginning of life, we find a stage where children were born to single parents. There were no two sexes. So this is the beauty of the Quranic statement. Instead of asserting that Adam was created without a father, without a mother, the Holy Quran says uh, he was created out of dust. So how could he be similar to Jesus when Jesus was not created out of dust? See? <laughs> the message is much more, much deeper, much more profound than these uh, medievalists can ever understand. <laughs>